under the poplars through the cane fields. I cycle along the gravel path to where a bridge crosses the railway lines. I pause and listen to the music the passing trains make near the bridge where a father lifts his son to the vision of the great engines going north. Four poplars in the sun grew there. Once there were seven, now severed, strewn by storms. The slashed seams of their trunks yellow like flame. And it is here that their death swoon bows to the music of trains, mixing below with the music of gravel under my bicycle tires, as in my childhood, between cane fields like pyres, burning while trains in the gully headed down the line to Eugene St. Madeleine, where once my father lifted me up on his shoulders. My father lifts me up to the veranda ledge he lifts me out of himself into the air. I am the air, like an electric surge, lifted high and thrown, wind in my hair, lifted and thrown as I see this father lifting and throwing his son into the air. The great engines farther away now, but the music of tires on gravel takes me home along the track under the poplars through the cane fields, back. I'm going to conclude with just one more. Mockingbird. I watch the bird through the glass door out on the veranda. Tropical mockingbird. I wondered what it was that kept me staring until I noticed its one leg. I thought how exhausting as it fought for balance, then fell on the cushion of its feathery breath then slid on the slippery terrazzo floor, a one-legged bird. How fortunate for wings, for flight, how precarious clinging with one leg, one set of claws to the wrought iron, to the ledge of the planter where it pecked, held in its beak a piece of banana filched from the feeding platter. Instinct kept up its stab, at last it swallowed hard. <laughs> this is the conclusion. <laughs> it took flight, its one leg tucked away. I searched for its perch, its tightrope landing on telephone wires strung out above the road beyond the yard. My one-legged friend had flown even further to the trees the other side to the heights of palms, to the leafy mango tree, to a freedom in air, till food and survival brought him back to slip and slide, acrobatic. Thank you. <laughs>